availability of energy sources is the cornerstone of development for any country. In India, the ever-increasing demands exerted by the multiplying population, rapid urbanization and progressing economy has led to serious shortages of energy. Dependency on fossil fuels is not only adding to the harmful greenhouse emissions in the environment but their continuous depletion has led to an inconsistent rise in the fuel prices. Currently, the industries in India are relying too much on conventional sources of energy which is proving detrimental both for the economy and the environment. We are on the verge of a serious energy crisis. But the answer to this energy crisis lies with the environment itself. Renewable Energy Renewable energy has proved its viability amidst the energy impasse. Renewable energy sources like wind, hydro, biomass and solar are easily available and technologies have been developed and proven to harness energy from these naturally occurring sources for various uses. Sun is the primary source of all forms of energy on earth and today with the development of different technologies it is possible to harness energy from sun. The solar photovoltaic technology which converts the energy from sunlight into electricity is quite a popular technology to harness sun's light energy. In contrast, the solar thermal technologies which harness the thermal energy from the sun are finding their prevalence in the industrial sectors for thermal energy requirements in various processes. Solar thermal technology involves two types of technologies non-concentrating technology and concentrating technology. Non-concentrating technologies include water heaters which are a common feature these days. The concentrating technologies have the capacity to generate high temperatures which are required in industrial sectors like food processing, chemicals and fertilizers, pulp and paper, textiles and tobacco etc among other industrial and commercial establishments which use thermal energy for process applications. These technologies can also be deployed for cooling needs in cold storages, dairies, where large-scale refrigeration is required. So how does concentrating technologies generate such high temperatures? In solar concentrating technologies, the incoming radiation is dragged by a reflective surface which concentrates the energy at a focal point where the heat absorbers are placed. The absorber transfers the thermal energy to the working medium. These technologies are also capable of automatically tracking the sun's radiation which is synonymous to a sunflower which tracks the movement of the sun and always faces in its direction. The solar concentrating technologies can be divided into three categories non-tracking concentrators, single axis concentrators and double axis concentrators. Non-tracking concentrators These types of concentrators remain static in a place and do not track the movement of the sun. Non-imaging concentrators are non-tracking type concentrators. Single axis concentrators Single axis concentrators track the movement of sun along one axis that is from east to west. The sensors automatically direct the concentrator to stay in the direction of sun to receive maximum radiation at all times during the day. There are three types of single axis concentrators prevalent in India. Linear Fresnel concentrator, parabolic trough and Scheffler dish. Double Axis Concentrators Double Axis Concentrators track the movement of sun along two axes that is east to west as well as the seasonal movement of sun. Fresnel Paraboloid Dish and Parabolic Dish has a double axis tracking mechanism. SKF Technologies Mysore using Parabolic Trough for Phosphating Process 
SKF Technologies at Mysore is a renowned name in providing a variety of standard and customized sealing solutions for automotive and industrial applications. Keeping in view the increasing fuel costs and the environmental effects, SKF Technologies installed 40 parabolic troughs with the principal application to heat water. The hot water is circulated through the treatment tanks in the phosphating plant, where the desired temperature is about 95 degrees Celsius. With minimal maintenance costs, the company reduced their diesel consumption exponentially, which has translated into huge savings for them. Mahindra Vehicle Manufacturers Limited, Chakan, Pune. Using Arun and Scheffler dishes for washing and cooling applications. Mahindra Vehicle Manufacturers Limited or MVML has installed two solar concentrator based systems. Arun dish for degreasing engine components and Scheffler dishes for cooling requirement in paint shop. The Arun dish based system delivers pressurized hot water at 120 degrees Celsius for 7 hours daily, which is utilized in degreasing process of the engine components. The plant has also installed 70 Scheffler dishes utilized for a cooling solution using a vapor adsorption machine in the paint shop. The system is also used for running LPG vaporizers for process requirements of MVML. Both Scheffler and Arun dish based systems at MVML have been installed with MNRE subsidies and are bringing profits for the company in terms of fuel savings. ITC Factory Bangalore using non-imaging concentrators for boiler feed water preheating. The ITC factory in Bangalore has a non-imaging collector based system installed. The system at ITC comprises of 200 modules of the non-imaging collector connected in a series and parallel combination. The principal application of these non-imaging concentrators is to preheat boiler feed water at about 95 degrees Celsius. The system provides hot water at 3500 liters per hour for 7 hours daily with a subsidy provided by Ministry of New and Renewable Energy in installation, these non-imaging concentrators have started bearing profit for the company. Purple Creations, Baramati, Pune Using Scheffler dish for steam ironing The company Purple Creations Private Limited is engaged in the business of manufacturing, supplying and exporting Kids Apparel. Purple Creations has installed a Scheffler dish based system at its premises for steam ironing requirements. The system at Purple comprises of 30 Scheffler dishes connected in a series and parallel combination and generates steam at 150 degrees Celsius and 6 bar pressure. We are able to generate steam for our garment press department up to 10 bar on a day with good sun radiation and such kind of steam for seven continuous hours. We are also looking of getting other benefits out of this installation like feeding preheated water to the conventional LPG fire boiler and warm water for our washing applications. As of date, give, getting seven hours of steam for our press department has translated into a direct saving of about 20 LPG cylinders of 47 kgs each which translates to around 85 to 90 thousand rupees of saving at the current LPG rate per month. A MNRE UNDP Jeff initiative has been taken to promote the solar thermal applications in various sectors across India. The project aims to develop a business model which will enable development of a pipeline of similar projects. Price Waterhouse Coopers has been appointed as the consultant for the industrial segment under this initiative. With such initiatives, the day is not far 
when solar thermal concentrating systems will significantly contribute to efficient, economical, renewable and clean energy supply for industrial and commercial segments.